Welcome to the Ombia Tutorials. In this tutorial we will run through our interactive slides collecting votes as we go. To get started we need the Ombia Response software installed and running within Microsoft PowerPoint on our computer. We also need to have plugged our Ombia Response Link receiver into the computer's USB port. Here we have a presentation in PowerPoint with Ombia interactive slides. You can see that some of the slides are standard PowerPoint slides such as these title and information slides here, while these three slides are interactive. This is normal. Ombia is designed so that we can place interactive voting slides throughout the presentation as and where we need them. We're going to start our slideshow by clicking up here on the quick start menu of Ombia response. We can also use the normal PowerPoint controls to start the presentation if we prefer. PowerPoint will launch the presentation slides for us to click through. We deal with your normal slides such as this one as we normally would, by speaking and advancing through them in the usual way. When we reach an interactive voting slide, we see this toolbar in the top right corner. The green colour indicates that polling is open, and here we can see that our group is submitting their responses. They do so by pressing the button on their response pad that corresponds to their answer. Should they wish to change their mind, they may simply enter a new response to replace their old one while this box is green. We can re-poll the question if needed, by hitting this button here after polling has closed. This is very useful for taking a before and after view or simply if something went wrong and we need to start the slide again. That's it when it comes to running interactive slides. You now know how to advance through your presentation collecting votes as you go. There are more tutorials and guides on our website that will show you how to produce reports or make more advanced adjustments so feel free to check those out now.